Welcome back to the channel, guys. As always, before we get started, do not forget that we have a new online training course available if you're new to detailing, want to learn how to machine polish and decontaminate and wash a car carefully. Six modules spread over four hours, 23 minutes, online course with exams at the end of each module. Check out the link in the description, which has a discount already applied to that link where you can get the course for £39 with the discounted price, which isn't bad. But right, let's get started with this comparison, guys. First of all, as always, price. Now, the Autoglim Rapid Ceramic Spray costs £20 RRP, I believe, at the time of shooting this video, for this 500ml bottle. The Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Detailer, I believe, has an RRP of exactly the same, £20, but you get 768 milliliters, so it's obviously about a third less than the Auto Glim product, just based on price alone, not relative price due to performance or anything like that. So, one point to the Meguiar's because it's significantly cheaper. Next test, desirability. If you know nothing about the performance of these two products or how much they cost, and you just saw them both there, which one of these two products would you buy on, the, on your local automotive parts store? <laughs> now, let's start with Auto Glim. Okay, now the, the branding of this bottle is nice, but it is classic Auto Glim, isn't it? All of their products look identical. This product kind of blends in with their existing line and you wouldn't know that it was a new special kind of product. The other thing with the Auto Glim bottle is that these square neck um, bottles are quite hard to hold actually. You can see here as I'm, that would be how I'm holding it. Um, and they, the, the square shoulder of the bottle interferes a little bit with the trigger. So we move over to the Meguiar's bottle and you can see you can get your, you can get your hand around the shaft of the bottle a lot better. The labeling is a bit more glamorous. You have textured beads <laughs> on the label. You have psychedelic printing. You have this see-through green plastic, which makes the product re look really funky on the shelf. And I think the more desirable of these products, although I like the Autoglim branding, you know, it's part of their heritage, but I think the most desirable, in my opinion, is the Meguiar's. Let me know in the comment what you think. Have a good look. So that is another 1-0 to Meguiar. So it's 2-0 overall at the moment. Next up, ease of application. Now, first up, the Autoglim product says, do not use in direct sunlight, I might be paraphrasing slightly, um, or on hot panels. Do not use it also above 25 degrees, which may be a problem in certain climates and in those odd days in the UK where it gets nice and hot. You can use this product wet or dry. So in other words, if your car has rinse water from the wash process, you can miss some on to help, um, you know, help dry the car, the drying aid function. You get, you get what I'm talking about. Or you can apply it dry and auto glim state. If you apply it dry, you get the best durability um, and performance that way. They say it's ultra hydrophobic and it will last up to three months. Let's go to the Meguiar's. The Meguiar's product, claims that it can also clean as well as protect. So if you've got a little bit of dust on your car and you don't want to give it a full clean, you can spray this on top of that dust and wipe very carefully. And this product should do some of that classic detail spray function of encapsulating the dirt and allowing you to, to uh, clean the panels, a bit like a waterless wash. Meguiar's claim it's easy to use. They claim that it enhances protection, which is interesting. It's an SiO2 hybrid ceramic spray and it beads like crazy. So there's some of the two product claims. Now, the, the key thing with these products in terms of ease of application, the Meguiar's product to me feels lighter and buffs a little bit lighter than the Auto Glim product. However, the Meguiar's product is a bit more milky and white you know, it's, you can see the whiteness to the product. If you over overspray too much of it on there, especially when the car's wet, and indeed the Meguiar's product does not say that you could use it wet, but if you try and use it as a wet drying aid and you over apply it, it can make a little bit of mess, you know, like that milky film. Um, if you mist it on small amounts, it can work as a drying aid. So the key thing is definitely thinner, easier and lighter to buff, but slightly more milky, and perhaps a risk of I don't want to say there's a risk of smearing because when you lay the film of the Meguiar's product out and you buff it, it's absolutely lovely to use the detail spray. So I don't want to say there's a risk, but 
it's just if you use too much, you might get that film, but it's kind of the same with most detail sprays. Now, the AutoGlim product is different. It's not as milky um, when you spray it onto the panel. It's more translucent, but it's thicker and resinous. And as soon as you form your film and then go back and buff it, you can feel a little bit more resistance with it. So it suggests to me, and this is why we're doing this video, to learn about it, that it's a more resinous, durable, higher concentrated product. So perhaps less of a detail spray. It doesn't say it's a detail spray, it's a rapid ceramic spray, whatever that is. Uh, but perhaps more of a full-on spray sealant than a detail spray. So I'm going to say this does have an advantage that when you mist it on wet as well, though, it seems to knock the product down a bit and it works really well as a drying aid. But overall, which of the two products are easier to use and can I apply quicker with less hassle? I would give it to the Meguiar's just because it's a lighter buff and it is more like a detail, as it says. So that's another one nil to Meguiar's and that's giving it three points. If you've used both of these products, put in the comments which one you would you find easier to apply. Um, there's not much in it, guys, and it's quite subjective with any product that you spray on a panel, but I've given you my reason. So that's the ease of application. There are also not the same temperature requirements with Meguiar's. So read the instructions. You could still apply this on days where it's above 25 degrees and some professionals it might be a problem because they want to be able to use their products in all, all forms of weather as well so we factored that in okay that's ease of application covered next up hydrophobidity or beadage we stripped we machine polished the panel with a pre abrasive degreased to give us a bare prepped panel with no product we always do that if you're new to the channel we then sprayed the same amount of product on to each side of the hood taped off and we had a control section down the middle. We allowed these to cure for at least four hours and that does make a difference. Um, and then we, I'm gonna show you the water beadage. So from those results, guys, as you can see, a standalone products, the Auto Glim product on its own has a much stronger water repellency than the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Detailer on its own, which is interesting. This product talks about boosting existing kind of protection and beadage. Um, now, I'm going to tell you, this is all about concentration. If I put another layer of the Meguiar's product on, I can get it to bead up like crazy. Or if I, you know, or if I use more product, because when I tested this on a small square last time with all those detail sprays, the beading on it was absolutely crazy. The reason it's not beading as much now is because I'm using one mist for like a quarter of my hood. So it's not as concentrated. So yes, it lives up to its product claims of be of boosting protection, but as a standalone product, it's not quite as strong as the Auto Glim Rapid Ceramic Spray, which holds its own as a standalone spray sealant in its own right. So we're learning a little bit about these two products now, and Auto Glim have won <laughs> a point. So that makes it three to Meguiar's, one to Auto Glim. On to the next test. Slickness, so after these products have cured and before we do the water test, because that will affect them, we place our patented melamine sponge and ceramic applicators on the different sides and we raise up our test hood to see which um, applicators slide off the panels easiest. And I'll show you the results. Oh. Interesting, that's going already. Maybe not. 
Maybe not. Look at that. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Big difference. That will not stay still. <laughs> right, come here. Okay. Tilt test number one. Okay. So Auto Glim is winning with the melamine. Clearly, it wants to slide off, so we'll take that off. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oi, I'm telling you, the Auto Glim is the slicker. There goes the Maguire's. Big difference. All right, let's get those back down. I'm gonna swap these around. Let's make sure. Oh, i to change position. Okay, let's do this again. That's a clear winner. Wow. I feel pretty damn slick. Auto Glim. So as you can see from the results guys, the Auto Glim product won the slickness test by a decent amount. It, it, it was clearly the slickest, so much so I couldn't even put the melamine sponge on it without the natural curve of the bonnet making it want to slip off. It's a very, very slick product. Once it's cured, give it a few hours to cure off and then you'll get that slickness. Okay, the, the Meg, Megs isn't, isn't bad, but there's a big difference as you can see from the results. So that's another point to the Auto Glim. So it's three to the Meguiars, two to the Auto Glim. It's getting close. Next up, the patented forensics detailing Gonio Photo Gloss, gloss Meter Test. We are just measuring high gloss, 20 degree gloss, the most accurate setting or reading for measuring gloss in excess of 70 gloss units, which is a nice shiny car. Now, five reading average. I will just go over to the results where I take the readings and I'll come back in a second. And clear off the readings, N equals zero. Five readings on Maguire's. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Up, 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 up. Five. Oh, 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 oh. Get the focus. There it is. Go to averages. 86.6. Delete all batches. Okay, zero, zero. Auto glimpse side. Let's go over here. Five. Come back over. 
Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Five readings. This is the, not the average. We want the average. So we go that way. 87.7. Most of those readings were higher. There you can see that's 87. So consistently higher readings by over a unit of gloss, which is decent actually. So Auto Glim wins the gloss test with an average of uh, 87.7. Impressive. So as you can see guys, the winner was the Auto Glim product with an average of 87.7 over five ratings, which was 1.1 gloss units higher than the Meguiar's. Um, which is not massive, but it's still significant because it gets hard to add gloss, as we talked about before, with high gloss panels. So the Autoglim product did really, really well. It's won this, picked up another point, and in my calculations, that makes it three apiece. And with all to play for, let's go to the final test. Doug. The final test, durability. In this one, guys, I just washed the Gulf two times over two weeks, and I'm gonna show you the final hydrophobicity. And it gives you a good impression of what these products would look like if you use them standalone, and you wanna see the water performance after two washes and two weeks. Let's go to that footage. And as a result, show you guys, the Auto Glim is exhibiting a lot better durability after those two washes after two weeks than the Meguiar's product. So the Auto Glim picks up another point, and that's the final test. It's like the comeback. It was 3 0 down. It's picked it at the post 4 3. Let's go to the final conclusions of this video. Okay, so final conclusions, guys. These points things are a little bit stupid, but they give us. They give you some context and they make a bit of fun to the competitive edge. And I like comparing Meguiar's and Auto Glim, the two of the biggest brands in the world. And I've done it a few times, it's always quite popular. Uh, sometimes Meguiar's win, sometimes Auto Glim win. Sometimes you guys, you disagree with me, sometimes you agree with me. The key thing to take away from this product is we are not comparing apples with apples. Some of you are going to be saying, John, you should have, you should have use the hybrid ceramic wax, the blue bottle one of these, but that's more of a spray and rinse product after you've put the foundation down. So that wouldn't have been an ideal candidate. I'd say the rapid ceramic spray from Autoglim is a lot more similar to the Brightmax Remax or the Turtle Wax ceramic spray, very similar to those. It's a full on product that you can use as a dedicated spray sealant. If you don't like spreading and buffing waxes, you can use it to top put on top of existing protection like the Auto Glim Ultra High Definition Wax, if you want to boost the repellency, add some shine. Um, you can also use it to go on top of the Auto Glim Ultra High Definition Ceramic Coating. Now that Auto Glim Ultra High Definition Ceramic Coating, if that's the correct name for it, is not the most hydrophobic product in the world. So this product is gonna complement it and give you the zing. We want the zing, don't we? The water's not zinging off, we think the protection is not working. Um, so this is a cool product for, uh, for uh, Auto Glim to release. Now let's just get a few things straight. Two years ago when I reviewed the, the hybrid ceramic wax from Meguiar's, I said Meguiar's were late to the party with their ceramic spray. So let's be fair, if Meguiar's were late to the party two years ago, Auto Glim have turned up to the party right at the end when all the other car brands, Meguiar's are getting tipsy, you know, CarPro and G Technics are absolutely paralytic on the floor and Auto Glim are turning up. Hi guys! Uh, it must be about like two o'clock in the morning or something like that. So yes, this 
you know, it's long overdue this product, but better late than never, I guess. Um, the most important thing that you need to take away from this video is that the Autoglim product is a really good standalone, concentrated, decent durability, resinous ceramic spray. And it seems like a really good one as well. Lovely and slick, lovely and glossy. The Meguiar's green bottle I have here is not as concentrated. It's more of a detail spray. It's a bit easier to use. It's a bit cheaper, but it's a lovely product. This came second overall in my recent best of detail spray and I'm a big fan of it. Um, this isn't a standalone sealant and that's why it's lost those marks to in some of those categories around durability and beading and all that. It's not as concentrated, it's a bit easier to use, it's much lighter to buff. But if you've got some sort of existing protection down, like the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax, and you want to boost protection, this will give you crazy beads and it's nice and easy to use and I think it's a really good detail spray. So the key thing really is less about what's the best, although that's what we do on this channel. It's more about understanding these products. And good job from Meguiar's and Autoglim. I hope you like the video. Let me know in the comments what you think of these two videos. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now. Where was I when